talks about the legal basis for canceling student debt. It, the HEROES Act hinges on student debt cancellation being tied to the pandemic and that being a national emergency. But the administration argued in court that the pandemic is over at the southern mm -hmm. border uh, to lift Title 42. It's so over that the government's going to stop buying vaccines in the fall and mm -hmm. shift to the private sector. So how is this a national emergency? Mm -hmm. How's COVID a national emergency when it comes to student debt? So it's a, it's a very good question, and I'm glad you asked it. Um, look, we use the HEROES Act uh, because there are going to be some, be some people, when we lift the pause, that's still going to suffer. They're still going to have a little bit of a hard time. Uh, and so that's one of the reasons uh, that uh, uh, we made this, this decision, uh, because as we're lifting up the pause, yes, you know, some folks may, the having not to pay for two years has been helpful to them uh, and are, we're able to save and we're able, are probably going to be able to, to uh, pay those monthly payments, but there's going to be some folks who are going to have a hard time. Uh, because um, uh, because they're just in a different bracket, right? It just because they it is they they've probably had a hard time before. We have to remember this is a system. So he announced the pause, the lifting up the pause. He announced the ten thousand and up to twenty thousand for Pell Grant recipients, who, uh, as I said, uh, many of them have a household nearly making sixty thousand, and and half of that uh, half of the Pell Grant recipients are thirty thousand household, thirty thousand dollars a year household, uh, and so the other piece of that is a reform, right? Reforming uh, the system as well so we can help nurses, so we can help construction workers, uh, so we can help firefighters and making sure that their payment are cut in half as well. Because those members, some of, these are some of our first respondents, right? Who also suffered so much uh, from the past, uh, past two years. So he wanted to make sure he gave them a little bit uh, of relief, understanding uh, that some folks, some folks uh, are just gonna have a little bit of a harder time, uh, even though uh, we're, we're coming out of a pandemic and the economy has been turned back on because of the work that this president has done. That was another thing I was going to mention. I mean, the president often says that this is, we're not in a recession because we've got, you know, record job market, record on low unemployment, businesses investing in America at, at record rates. Mm -hmm. So why are those appropriate conditions to forgive student debt. Well, thank you for laying out all the work that the president has done. That is a thousand percent correct. Uh, but we've also said uh, that we know that some people are still suffering. We've, you've heard us say that too. Like, it, you know, it, yes, the economy can be turned back on and we've created to what you've just laid out, uh, nearly 10 million new jobs uh, since the president took office, that matters. Uh, the economy is stronger than it's been in a, some time. Uh, but, and we have said that, you've heard the president say that, there's still some folks uh, who need a little bit more help. And this is what the president is trying to do. Both can be true. It's not one or the other. Well, the Washington Post editorial board says that, and, this and, and then I'm going to go to the back because we're running out of doesn't, time. Doesn't take, doesn't help those people though. That it, it, you know, takes money from the broader tax base, mostly made up of workers who didn't go to college to subsidize education debt of people with valuable degrees. Mm -hmm. So sort of rebutting what you you had just mm -hmm. said. But you know, beyond that, there are critics who are saying that this is not about the pandemic, it's not about those conditions, that this is about getting people to vote ahead of the midterms and that the real national emergency is Democrats in the midterm elections. Well, I mean, uh, I disagree with everything that you just laid out. Um, I was just asked a question by some Democrats in, you know, who are saying that they're not happy with this, right, who are criticizing this. Uh, and we have said we're not going to make everybody happy. Uh, and so if you're not making everybody happy, uh, you cannot say that, you know, that what you just laid out is certainly cannot be the case either. Look, here's what, here's what I will say, and this is just what we have laid out about this, about this program. This is historical, what we're doing. It has never been done before. When you look at the system, the system is broken. And we're trying to reform it so that we can help people who really need it. The way that this president has done this, he's done it in a targeted way. So it helps. It doesn't give a penny to anybody making more than 120, let, let me finish, more than 125,000. Um, and if you look at the Pell Grant recipients, the Pell Grant recipients, we're talking about people, again, and I've said this multiple times in this briefing room t today, and we said it multiple times yesterday, $60,000 household. We're talking about $60,000 household. 
and cut in half, right? There are people who are, we're talking about people, uh, Pell Grant recipients that are at $30,000 households. I mean, that's the people that we are going to help. Again, nurses, construction workers, when you think about the reform. I, I, I mean, we, we've just, we've just, wait, we've just gone back. You've made your point. I've made my point. I'm going to move on because we are, we are actually running out of time.